Hey guys, what's up? It's Yeskov1 here, and today, uh, this will be part one of my Let's Play of the campaign in Medieval 2 Total War. And you might be wondering, this channel is Minecraft Commentator, why are you doing this? Well, it's because I really like this game, and I hope you guys do too. So, uh, I'll be letting you guys vote on which faction I should play as, out of the many there are here. And I will not be choosing Russia or England, for I have played with played as this faction already and I really uh, don't feel like it anymore because it's boring and I won't enjoy it and if I don't enjoy it you guys probably won't either so now moving on England I will be telling you about the strengths and weaknesses about of each faction so uh, England has superb long bowmen and strong infantry which is what they're known for at this time however they do have a poor variety of cavalry, so not that many units to choose from when it comes to cavalry. Moving on to France. Uh, they're positioned. Well, I hope you know where France is. If you don't, you really need to take a class in geography. But anyways, they have the best cavalry in the west and good infantry in the late period. Not in the early period, but... See, they have weak, pe they have weak infantry in the early period. But they have good cavalry, so I hope that'll make up for the poor, poor infantry. Now the Holy Roman Empire is today Germany, as you can see. They are strong all around, but they do lack the late professional armies of England and France. So in the, in the late period, they depend on militia, mercenaries, and stuff like that, as opposed to professionally trained units. Now uh, Spain is positioned where Spain is. They have excellent navy and light, ca light infantry and cavalry, but they don't have good heavy infantry and, s and spearmen in the early period. Spearmen are, well, I hope you know what a spear is. In case you don't, it's a stick with a pointy end. Now, Venice, which isn't where Venice is today. Well, I believe Venice is here. I've been there, but, you know. Oh, apparently they control this island too, but anyways. So they control this little part and all Italian powers. So from here, they have good militia. As you can see, they have good militia infantry, good colonial units and late technology. Colonial units are what you use to come to America, which where you can go actually. But they have somewhat poor cavalry. So, you know. Uh, Sicily have good militia, like all the Italian powers, as I said. But they have Norman knights and Muslim archers because they're pretty close to Muslim territory. But they don't have good late period cavalry. So that could be a problem. Now Milan have good infantry, as you would expect from an Italian power. They have crossbowmen and good late technology. But they have very poor offensive cavalry, which charge at you. Now Scotland, in the north of the British Isles, makes excellent use of spears, which you already know what it is because I explained it, and a pike, which is about a, I believe a, maybe three meter spear with a pointier end, which was, it just killed everyone who charged at it, basically. They would be impaled on it, and I guess when you get impaled, you kind of die, so, you know, pretty useful. But they have bad cavalry, so their cavalry can't kill a squirrel. And their nobles, the general unit, often fight on foot, so they run along with their men. The Byzantine Empire, uh, the fallout from the Roman Empire. See, they still existed for about a thousand years. They don't have good late period gunpowder, which you unlock in the future. But they have good... Heavy cavalry and missile cavalry, which is archers on horseback, and they have good, pretty good archers. Of course, not as good as the English, but good. Russia has poor infantry and missile units. However, they do have a great mix of missile and melee cavalry. Now, the eastern forces rely mainly on missile cavalry, while the western forces rely on heavy cavalry, such as charging cavalry. Now, uh, the Moors, which as you can see is the north of Egypt right here, and in the south of Spain, uh, they field a good mix of light cavalry and infantry. 
but they have effective spears, but they don't have good strong late period units, such as, I don't know. Now, really, I don't know how to explain it. Now, the Turks, which is right here, and a, f a bit above Jerusalem, Jerusalem's right here, and uh, they have they have outstanding mounted archers, like I said, they rely on missile cavalry, and they have Janissary troops, which I have no idea what they are, but they don't have good heavy armor and early period infantry, so these are, oh, Janissary is an axe with a spear on the end, so now you know, knowing half the battle, but uh, Egypt, right here, I guess you know where Egypt is, if you don't, that's, once again, kind of sad. But uh, they rely on powerful cavalry, especially the Mamluks, which are, well, basically Middle Eastern cavalry, which basically kick everyone's, you know, ass. And but they have bad heavy infantry, especially in the late period, where they can do nothing at all. Now, uh, Norway, which is a bit smaller than modern-day Norway, but you know, they have a good all-around mix of units. You know, a good. You know, mix. But the infantry preferring to wield swords or axes as opposed to spears makes them bad against cavalry. And they have bad cavalry. So nothing goes good for them in the cavalry department. Now Portugal, which is modern day Portugal and a little bit of northern Spain, modern day northern Spain. They have excellent light infantry and naval units and good light cavalry, but they don't have professional armies. Like I said, mostly militia and you know, stuff like that. Now, Polish, which are right here. Poland. And, by the way, this game is very uh, historically inaccurate with Russia because it was actually Novgorod, Kniazhstvo Novgorod, or rather the Kingdom of Novgorod. I know Russian, so, as you can probably tell by my last name, Yaitskov 1. Well, Yaitskov. I don't have a 1 in my last name, that would be kind of sad. But, uh, so here they have very strong cavalry, what they're known for, but they have somewhat mediocre infantry, so, you know, their infantry is, eh, subpar. These guys have a strong mix of heavy knights, which are, well, yeah, uh, knights are people in heavy armor with swords on horseback, and skilled horse archers, kind of eastern, I don't know, but they have bad offensive infantry so they have battlefield assassins which are basically ninja if you played the game shogun 2 they're kind of like kisho ninja if you didn't it's kind of like a ninja that actually goes into battle as opposed to sneaking up on people while they're sleeping so uh thanks for watching this video uh i'll be do i'll be starting part two well the actual start of the let's play in about a week maybe after i've gotten a little bit of votes. So, uh, thanks for watching this video. That was Yetskov1. Have a nice day. Bye.